In one of the most perplexing aviation mysteries of all time, Malaysia Airlines Flight ND-370 vanished without a trace nine years ago. On March 8, 2014, a Boeing 777 took off from Kuala Lumpur, headed for Beijing, only to disappear from radar screens just 40 minutes into the flight. This enigmatic event has confounded experts and triggered global speculation, leading to nearly a decade of exhaustive investigations. However, against all odds, a groundbreaking revelation has finally provided the long-awaited answers about the fate of this notorious flight. Aircraft disappearances have always intrigued experts and the general public alike, as they raise numerous questions. Factors contributing to these perplexing occurrences often involve a complex interplay of technical malfunctions, human error, and adverse weather conditions. The vastness of our oceans and remote regions can make locating missing planes a formidable challenge, even with advanced technology. Air traffic controllers use two radar types to locate airplanes suspended in the atmosphere. Primary radar, which employs electromagnetic signals bouncing off objects to show the physical location of the plane in the sky, and secondary radar, which communicates with a plane's transponder, providing data on the plane's position and speed. However, certain conditions can render aircraft invisible to both radar systems, as was the case with NH-370. Malaysia Airlines Flight NH-370, carrying 227 passengers and 12 crew members, mysteriously vanished from both radar systems on its journey from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. This disappearance was all the more puzzling as it happened without any distress signals, discovery of wreckage, or conclusive explanations. Various theories have emerged over the years, encompassing mechanical malfunctions, hijacking scenarios, and even pilot suicide, but the exact location of MH370's wreckage and the reasons behind its disappearance have remained elusive. In our exploration of this baffling disappearance, we'll delve into the various elements that can lead to aircraft vanishing from radar screens, shedding light on the fascinating and often perplexing world of aviation mysteries. Retracing the events of that fateful day, Malaysia Airlines flight in NH370 was conducted using a Boeing 777-200ER with the serial number 28000, 420 and registration 9MRO. The aircraft had a long history of service, with no significant prior incidents. However, just 40 minutes into the flight, it disappeared from radar screens, along with its 227 passengers and 12 crew members. The disappearance raised questions about the aircraft's last communication and the absence of any indications of rapid descent. This surprising event unfolded without any distress signals, discovery of wreckage, or conclusive explanations. Despite extensive search efforts involving 34 ships and 28 aircraft from seven countries, no trace of the aircraft was found. Four years of investigation yielded no concrete answers. The flight was piloted by 27-year-old First Officer Farrakh Hamid, who was on his final training flight before receiving his official certification. His instructor, Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah, aged 53 and one of Malaysia Airlines' most senior pilots, was also on board. Zahari's radio communications were slightly unusual, and the last communication from MH370 occurred when the Kuala Lumpur air traffic controller bid them good night. Strangely, Zahari replied with good night, Malaysian 370, omitting the frequency repetition customary in aviation. This was the last anyone heard from NH370. Remarkably, it took Kuala Lumpur air traffic control 39 minutes to notice the absence of the aircraft. By then, they assumed the plane had entered Vietnamese airspace. It wasn't until four hours later that the emergency response was activated. Despite the aircraft's scheduled arrival in Beijing, NH-370 initially deviated to the southwest after disappearing from radar, raising suspicions of an intentional act rather than an accident. On March 24, 
2014, Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak stated that following an analysis of the final signals by Inmarsat and the UK Air Accidents Investigation Branch AIB, it was determined that the flight had crashed in a remote area of the Indian Ocean, approximately 2,500 kilometers, 1,500 miles, southwest of Australia. The Australians took charge of the search effort, even though the areas indicated by satellite data were incredibly deep and largely uncharted. The search faced numerous challenges, including the need to create detailed maps of the underwater terrain, deploying robotic submarines to locate the flight recorder, and dealing with acoustic signals that suggested the flight recorder's location. However, the signals eventually proved inconclusive, and no debris was discovered. The backgrounds of the two pilots, Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah and First Officer Farik Abdul Hamid, underwent scrutiny during the investigation. While Zahari had a complex personal life and spent extensive hours alone in his home flight simulator, Farik displayed no signs of suspicious behavior or personal issues. The disappearance of MH370 gave rise to numerous conspiracy theories including speculations about the United States' involvement, the possibility of a meteor strike, and even extraterrestrial interference. However, most of these theories lack scientific basis and credibility. Despite the uncertainties, there is hope that the professional examination and analysis of the debris from MH370 will provide more information about its origin and significance. The newly discovered debris item part of the left main landing gear trumian door, suggests a deliberate effort to hide the crash evidence. While progress has been made in unraveling the mystery of MH370, there is still much to uncover in the depths of the southern Indian Ocean. The aircraft's disappearance remains an unsolved puzzle, captivating the world's imagination. Concrete evidence is needed to provide closure and a definitive explanation for Malaysian Airlines Flight 370's fate. Thanks for watching. Never forget to like, comment and share the video. And remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.